let's highlight a couple athletes who have been making a bit of noise these past couple weeks, but probably haven't been getting the recognition that they truly do deserve. First off, Joseph Amoa from Ghana. Now he ran 9.94 seconds in the 100 meters down at Morgan State in Baltimore this past weekend. That makes him number two in the world this year. Who is it behind? Benjamin Azamati, also from Ghana. Now remember, Ghana's kind of building up a little bit of a sprint squad right now. They made it into the 4x1 final in Tokyo last year at the Olympics. Guess who they kicked out? The USA. They finished 200th of a second ahead of the US in the heat. So this squad that they're building up is really, really strong. But sticking to Joseph Amoa, this 9.94 improves on his personal best of 10.01 seconds, run all the way back in 2019. So really getting back into form. He's ran for Coppin State, made it to the NCAA Finals a couple times, but in the 100 meters, his best finish in the NCAA was only eighth place. So not getting as much recognition as someone who finishes top five or top three or whatever it may be, right? But he also ran in the 2019 Doha World Championships, unfortunately didn't make it out of the heats. This 9.94 shows that he is getting back into form and is going to be making some good progress. In the 200, he also has some good accolades. He finished fourth place at the 2019 NCAA Championships and has a best of 20.08 seconds. He made it to the semifinals of the Tokyo Olympic Games last year in the 200. So again, both in the 100 and the 200, Joseph Omoa is showing that he can really make some good progress. We might see him make it to that world championship final if we're not careful. Remember, he competes for Ghana. He doesn't have to go through the US trials, all that qualification, all that stuff. He's good. He's going to be in Eugene. Keep a lookout for him. Now, we also have to talk about Shania Collins from the United States. A couple weeks ago, she ran 10.98 seconds at the Tom Jones Invitational down in Florida. Only equal number six in the world this year right now. Not top five, not top three, but that equals her personal best set all the way back in 2018. So getting back into some strong form. Back in 2018, that was her greatest season of her career at that point. She was coming off NCAAs where she was running for Tennessee. She finished fifth place in the NCAA 100 meter final. She finished seventh place in the USA Championship 100 meter final. So really great accolades that she put down there. Unfortunately, since then, she's been a little bit up and down. She did win indoors at the 60 meters at USA's in 2019, but her best in the 100 meters between 2019 and 2021, she only hit about 11.2 and was averaging about 11.4 or so. So really not the strong performances she saw in 2018. This 10.98 seconds that we just saw a couple weeks ago shows that she is getting back into form and is going to be very dangerous. She's only 25 years old. She's really still improving. I think that she might have an outside shot to be a little bit of a spoiler and make it onto that US team if she continues at this rate. Of course, we know we have a ton of athletes in that women's 100 meters. Shakari Richardson, Tiana Daniels, Gabby Thomas, JVN Oliver, uh, Twanisha Terry Wright, so many athletes. But again, she might be there to spoil the party. And if anything, probably might be able to get onto that relay squad. So keep a lookout for Shania Collins. Keep a lookout for Joseph Omoa. These are just two athletes who are making some noise. I'm going to keep highlighting a couple athletes from the sprints, jumps, and hurdles who are really going to be making some impact and progressing as we go through the 2022 World Championship season. Go in the comments below. Let me know if there's any other athletes who you think are kind of on the cusp of being a spoiler, whether it be in the sprints, hurdles, or jumps. Make sure you let me know. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.